Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Today is another episode in the Ad Nauseum series Pass Gas with Doug. Pass Gas is a TLA for Pen Acquisition Syndrome and the related Gear Acquisition Syndrome. And TTLA stands for two three-letter acronyms. If that's too many acronyms for you, well then I would gladly TTYL. Today's episode of Pass Gas with Doug will cover a few topics. Virtual shopping with Doug and a related subscriber poll. Some upcoming reviews and attractions. Trust me, I know what you want. The previews, the coming attractions. As well as pens currently in the post. And then everyone's favorite topic, a fountain pen giveaway. The giveaway pen is a pen that I can't seem to get rid of. Uh, excuse me, can I borrow your pen for a sec? Okay. Just don't run off. A recent giveaway pen was already given away once, but after months in the post, it was returned as undeliverable. So I'm going to try once more. This pen will be worth much more in postage than the pen was worth to start with. If you have the stamina to sit through the entire video, I will give you details on how you can win this pen at the end. Those of you that cheat and skip to the end, remember, I can see you. Hello, I'm the manager of this theater. At this very moment, I can see you out there. I put this in myself. The, the guy in the green jacket in the back row. Oh, that's disgusting. Get him out. Get, leave, leave the two girls. They're fine. I try to keep a clean movie house here as much as possible. So let's start passing gas right now. <laughs> To start with, you folks are going to help me choose my next YouTube pen. I've been using the revenue I receive from those annoying advertisements with which YouTube interrupts my brilliant content. Gum! What the hell is going on? Pancresta is not for everyone, just the sexy people. Lame losers should not take Pancresta. To support the purchase of new fountain pens to review and yes, own. Here are my first three purchases. My Leonardo Momento Zero Blue Hawaii. My Waterman Karen Amber. And the latest one, my Leonardo Ferrore Salt. This next pen will be my September YouTube pen. I'm going to give you folks some pen suggestions to vote on in a channel poll. Of course, feel free to add your own suggestions for what you think I should consider. I have four pens in mind and reserve the right to add more to the poll as I find stuff that fascinates me. No but it is interesting the first was suggested in a comment by a viewer i took a look at a number of models and finishes from this italian pen company that i had not heard of before maiora i think i'm saying that right it is the maiora imprante terra oversize this one has a fascinating purple blue and brown cracked ice style acrylic there's no name for this color that i can find it is at the top of the price range I'm willing to spend, which is around $230 Canadian. At that price, I have to add to my YouTube kitty to the tune of around 50 bucks of grocery money. The next pen I want to look at is a pen that's been on my wish list for more than a year. This is the Platinum 3776 Bourgogne. I'm still looking for a best price on this one as Applebaum doesn't carry this finish. So I'm looking on Amazon for a sale. I'm going to share a really cool browser add-on for you Amazon deal shoppers. My pen friend Ronnie told me of this feature. It's called Camel Camel Camel. That's either three camels or one camel and a dromedary. Either way, just go to camelcamelcamel.com and get the add-on for your browser. It isn't in an app form, unfortunately, but Camel 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 lets you track the fluctuations of products on Amazon. Just open a product page from Amazon and hit the Camel logo in your add-ons bar, and you'll get a screen like this one. You can put in a price you want to watch for, and if and when the product hits that price on Amazon, you'll get an email notification. So I've got a price in mind for the 3776, and we'll see if it ever hits that. The next pen in the wish list is this Waterman Expert 3 Metallic with gold trim. 
It is a steel nib, but I really like the looks of this pen and I adore my Waterman Cadet so much, I thought I'd give another Waterman model a try. Plus, this pen is in the perfect price range that won't cause me to have to skimp and buy generic brand peanut butter next month. The last pen is also in my financial wheelhouse and is from a brand that a number of commenters have urged me to try out, and that is Twisby. The model I'm looking at is the Twisby Diamond 580 in the rose gold trim. I found it hard to pay this kind of money for what I think feels like a pen made of cheap plastic, but to be fair, the Platinum 3776 feels roughly the same, but at least it has a gold nib. I think I'm spoiled by the $40 pen BBS pens with these incredible finishes. So there are four pens I will put in the poll for your votes and comments. Now let's look at some upcoming pen reviews I have planned. A few weeks ago, I received a bit of a flood of pen BBS pens. They were ordered over a period of weeks, but all came in at once because some were delayed by several months due to the pandemic shipping situation. Here are the pens in question that I have not reviewed yet. A Galaxy 308 with gold trim, a Cedar 480 with silver trim, and three 355 syringe fillers in Amber, Galaxy, and Niangal. I haven't even inked these three pens yet. I want to do some comparisons instead of straight up reviews of these pens. So I grouped them by finish and filling system into some interesting pairs for head to head videos. The Galaxy 308 versus one of my top five fountain pens, the Moon Man M800 in Galaxy. Of course, it has a pen BBS nib. The Amber 355 with my Amber 500 spring filler. The Galaxy 355 with the 487 magnetic piston filler. And the Niangao 355 with my Niangao 456 vacuum filler. And the Cedar 480 with my Cedar 308. Let me know what you think of those video ideas in the comments. Last week, pen friend and viewer Sean Marshall from Edmonton generously sent me these two pens on loan for review. The grail pen in his collection, his Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age with a 22 karat broad palladium nib and his Pelican M205. Thank you, Sean. So just as I was editing this video, a pen that was in the mail has arrived and it is a green version of the M800 which I will do a review shortly and I got this one for 70 cents US which has to do with a coupon I received on eBay and I have a couple of pens in the post this Wingsung 618 flighter style hooded nib pen I got it with an additional four Bobby Bent nibs and we'll do a video comparing three 618s the black one which was a gift from Janice and my transparent blue version with gold trim that was a gift from fellow reviewer Alan Light and the flighter version which is in the mail. I'm going to swap some nibs around and make all three into bent nib versions. It should be fun. That should be here in a couple weeks. And the other outstanding pen in more ways than one is this Opus 88 Bella in red. It is an oversized acrylic eyedropper with a piston shutoff valve. This should prove very interesting indeed. I've heard this kind of pen called a Japanese eyedropper. This is my August YouTube revenue pen. Now to what you've all been waiting for, the fountain pen giveaway. I'm going to make it even more interesting for the new winner this time. If you win the draw, ding, 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 what do we have for Johnny? You'll be able to select which of these two Jin Hao 51 A's you want me to send to you the Niangao or the Autumn finish. Each of the pens has a number five size open nib as opposed to the hooded nib versions of the 51 A. This one I replaced the nib and it has a delike nib on it and it writes beautifully. They both write beautifully. All you need to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment below. 
It's Wednesday, September 23rd today, and I will select a winner by random draw at midnight this Saturday, September 26th, Pacific Standard Time. I will announce the winner in a pinned comment below this video and also in a post on my community tab. I'll give you a topic. Talk amongst yourselves! But you can leave any kind of a comment that doesn't piss me off or violate YouTube standards of decorum. You're right. overweight. <laughs> Frustrated, unsuccessful, stammering, stuttering, sweating, <laughs> you know, completely out of your element individual. Moron, you're a moron. You, you are a moron. What's your big beef with the Nazis? <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's like a talking egg. Do you smell burning toast? So you lie on top of her with this body. <laughs> now, wait a second. Oh, oh, geez. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Get off me, you fat. Oh, I'm fat! You look great, by the way. Have you lost weight? Do you know what? I, I'll tell you something. Because I think you found it again. Have you seen your genitals in the last few years? Is, is my one question, because... No, do you but have word mirrors? gets back from those who have. To just sit you in a bucket and feed you a, a, a thousand donuts until you couldn't eat any more and just see what happened. I haven't really enjoyed one second with you talking to that, you. I learned that, I learned that you're even more moronic than I thought you were. Thank you. Which pen do you think I should choose for my September YouTube revenue pen? Don't forget to vote in the poll on my community tab as well. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. this.